You know, it's so much easier to set focus using focus peaking when you have a beard <laughs> because I found the whole thing lights up. So what better to bring in the new year than to update the camera rig? Let's check it out. What's up you guys? My name is Glenn and I want to welcome you to my channel. Today we're going to talk about this guy right here, the Samsung T5. So this has been a popular drive for quite some time. I have a few of these, but I don't use them as much anymore because I tend to edit off of NVMe drives now. But since they were just sitting around, I didn't really want to let them go to waste. And so I actually figured out a way to get this into your Atomos Ninja recorder. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that today. Let's check it out. So a few things that you're going to need to pull this off. First, you're going to need your Samsung T5. Obviously, can't do it without that. Then you're going to need an Atomos Ninja or uh, Atomos Master Caddy. And then you're going to need one of these guys right here. This is an adapter. I'll get into this in just a second. But this is what the T5 is going to go inside of. It's very cheap. I'll leave a link down in the description below. It cost me $6.99, so not very expensive at all, but you definitely need to have that. I'll get into that in just a little bit. And then you're gonna need a fine tip Phillips screwdriver. Um, this kit's pretty cool. I like it. It cost me like 13 bucks. Maybe I'll leave a link down in the description below as well. But um, just as a side note, we are gonna take the Samsung T5 apart, but don't worry, don't get intimidated. It is much easier than what you think. You're not really gonna damage this thing. You can put it back together. But as a disclaimer, if you do damage it, I'm not responsible for anything that you do to your T5. Uh, but again, very easy. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I've already taken this one apart several times and put it back together. Um, I put it back together just to be able to do this tutorial. But first thing that we're gonna do is you're actually gonna take your screwdriver and you're just gonna kinda get it underneath the stickers here. And again, I've already done this, so mine's much easier. You might have to pry it a little bit, but then just pull that back and then you're gonna see that it actually uh, exposes the, the Phillips screws there. You're gonna do the same thing on the other side. This will void your warranty, but if you wanna keep your uh, serial number there, then just be careful that you keep the sticker intact when you pull it off. So we're gonna pull that off. Then once we have those screws exposed, then we're gonna go ahead and just take them out. Yeah, it was a shame to let these things go to waste. And so I was really excited. I actually needed some more storage for a job that I have coming up. And so since I had a couple of these, I was like, this is perfect. And so if you wanna put this back together, make sure that you keep the screws and keep all your components. These are tiny screws and they will get lost very easy but if you ever want to use it again as a USB type C drive, you're going to want to put this thing back together. So, so once you have all the screws out, then um, on the back side here, that you're just going to have this little flaps going to come out and then you just take the inside and push it. And then the other side of the T5 is going to come out where the USB C is at. And this is the internals. So here you have just a little foam piece that's actually covering the drive itself. I want to take a quick second and ask you guys if you're finding this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. That will help YouTube show it to other creators as well and they can get this same information because I know it's something that definitely helped me save a little bit of money and get some more storage space for my Atomos. And if you're not subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It definitely helps this channel out. But let's go ahead and get back to the tutorial. And inside here, you have an mSATA drive. So I didn't really realize that that's what was inside of this thing, uh, but that makes it where you can adapt it to other things. And there's just two screws holding that in. So we're gonna take those screws out and these screws are different sizes. So you're gonna wanna keep those separate from the others, or at least just remember that they're different sizes if you wanna put it back together. So take those two screws out. Once you take it out, you just kind of lift it up a little bit and then Pull it out just like that it's that simple and just set all this t5 stuff aside then you're going to take this it, this is a saber and i think that's how you pronounce it an adapter again it was 6.99 it's super cheap so i actually you know bought a few of these for for multiple drives it has this little piece of like plastic here on the back and you just pull that to pull the drive apart 
And you can see inside here, this is an mSATA to regular SATA um, adapter. And so you can use this in like your PC, stuff like that, but it also works in the Atomus Ninja. And I have tested this. It'll work all the way through 5.9K raw. That's the max my camera can put out, the max that I'm able to record, and it works just fine. So you just take the drive and you line up the slots there, push it in, and then you just kind of hold it down. Now, this one actually comes with the screws, so it uses separate screws, and that's another reason why I picked it. Some of, some of them, which is lame, don't actually come with the screws. But then you're uh, gonna take the two larger ones and put them in the little holes there for the MSATA. Take your screwdriver and screw them in. And then you're gonna take the top piece and put it back together. Just like that. And then it's got four screws on the outside and you're just gonna use the, the inside holes, the outside ones, uh, the outer two on each side are for mounting it inside a PC and stuff like that. So you don't really need to worry about those, but just put it on the two inner ones. And you know what, one thing I actually forgot to, to mention, and, and this is quite important. Uh, if you use the password lock on the Samsung drive, you need to make sure you turn all that off first because if you try to stick this in your, your Atomus and it's locked with the password, it's only gonna read like 84 megabytes or something like that. So you gotta disable the, the password and then you can actually utilize the whole drive. And so once you have this done, you're just gonna stick it in your master caddy like any other drive and then format it in your Ninja. I would show you guys that, but I've actually got my Ninja up there recording now. So pretty simple to do that, nothing major at all. I hope you guys were able to use your T5s and get some more storage for your Atomus Ninja. Again, you can put this thing back together if you want to, it's very simple. And if you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section below. I'd be glad to help you guys out. And again, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Let other creators know about it as well. And until then, I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for stopping by.